with advancing years and electronics seemingly getting smaller and smaller every single day, and even receiving instructions in a microscopic form, might as well be on a micro dot, I find myself needing to resort to my loop more and more often. This one I've had for several years, it came from radio spares, and these days I find it indispensable. To the point that I have another workspace, it will be a real pain to keep moving things around, I thought I'd buy another one. When I looked online, however, this guy now, if I wanted to replace it like for like, would cost me some 120 euros, which I thought was a little steep. Therefore I checked my favourite Chinese emporium and found something that looked like it would do the job at a quarter of the price. Let's see if it's any good. And by the way, if you watch right to the end of the video, there'll be a very handy bonus tip for you. Here we see the lamp as supplied. Nothing really to note on the assembly. All you need to do is to undo the thumb screw there and pass the support through the ferrule there. Leave enough cable for the head to be able to flex. And that's all there is to that. The body then is pressed steel. I always keep a couple of magnets on mine for holding things in place. The support is uh, generous enough to accommodate whatever desk or bench you're going to be attaching it to. Little control pad there. And the device is USB powered. There's no power supply supplied. But no doubt, like me, you have a drawer full of old phone chargers that will do the job. Or indeed, I made this little power bank for myself recently. That's what I'm going to use today. The LEDs are protected behind this diffusing ring there. Turn the unit on and you can adjust the brightness up or down 10 stages. I think that must be the brightest. Certainly wiping out my camera vision there. And that's right down to the lowest setting there now. So a good range of brightness control. Let's bring it up a tad. And the other really useful thing is to be able to change the color. So there are three color modes. This is more like the fluorescent arrangement that I have on my other lamp, a cold, cold white sort of industrial color. And then you have a more neutral and a warm white. This will be especially useful when you're trying to identify components, for example, resistors, where the color codes can be difficult enough to see at the best of times. But if the light that you're viewing them under is distorting the colors, it makes life more difficult. So that's a, a really neat feature there. I'm pleased to note that the lens itself is a nice glass lens, not plastic like some of the ones that you can see. When I check the diameter, it's only 5mm short of the larger lamp I have downstairs at 115 That's all there is to it then. Let me just clamp it to the bench and try it out for real. As a comparison then, you can see the little data sheet here that I was using under my other magnifier. And this to me looks to be giving about the same magnification. On the posh one was some five diopters. Uh, this one just says 1.75 times. Take that as you will. I have my little circuit board here, which I can pretend to solder on. Let me just move the camera and give you a better view of what the eye would actually see. I still don't think that does it quite justice to what you actually see through the lens. I, I see a, a larger magnification than that, but it's certainly more than adequate. The other thing that I was concerned about was that I wouldn't have sufficient space to move underneath, given that the support arm is only half the length of on my other lamp. But as you can see, this is a full A3 size mat and uh, not getting in my way at all. And there we have it then. In conclusion, I'm very happy with the acquisition for a quarter of the price of the original one I was using. To be honest, I wasn't expecting very much, but with the facility to be able to change the colors on the fly and even the brightness, this could find a useful place, reading, sewing, 
a boon to practically every project workbench. Thanks for watching. And just as a bonus tip, keep the plastic bag that the lens came in. It makes a very handy dust and lens protector.